when it was announced a few months ago that James Gunn would be taking over as head of DC Studios, that he would be the one to decide the future of the DC universe. There were a lot of expectations and the criticism surrounding that decision only ramped up when he made his first big announcement that he was done with Henry Cavill as Superman. Now, some people expected, well, if he's going to do that, maybe he's going to reboot the entire thing. Since then, we've realized that's not exactly the case. And earlier this week, he finally dropped the bombshell that people have been waiting months for, the future of the DC Universe. And it didn't exactly garner a ton of eyes. There wasn't the hype surrounding that people expected. A lot of the things they announced seemed kind of stupid and nonsensical. And the things that people did want to hear, they didn't get enough out of it, including the Superman movie. And when the pictures leaked out about what this presentation looked like, when it's almost like they're crammed in like a hotel conference room in these little chairs with James Gunn and Peter Safran up there with these Pretty boring logos, which I'm not going to care about the logos. It wasn't meant for public consumption. This picture was not supposed to leak out there, but it looks as underwhelming as the announcement felt. And now it's essentially been confirmed that James Gunn will indeed direct the Superman legacy movie. And although people might like a lot of what James Gunn does with Marvel and maybe with what he's done with DC, the idea of them helming the Superman movie puts a lot of people off, and rightly so when you look at his history. Nevertheless, it looks like that's what they're going to do. Cast a younger Superman, fire Henry Cavill, even though they don't want to admit that, and have James Gunn running the entire thing, writing and directing. James Gunn is wanted to direct Superman Legacy. Casting has not started yet. DCU co-head and producer Peter Safran confirms they want Gunn to direct the new flick featuring a younger version of The Man of Steel. No surprise here is James Gunn is the favorite and wanted to direct the Superman Legacy movie that will launch the DCU. Gunn has been writing the script since he and Peter Safran took over DC Films. Safran says it's hoped that Gunn will direct Superman Legacy. This is really the launch for the DCU with Superman Legacy. James is currently writing it. We're hoping he will direct it. It's not an origin story. It focuses on Superman balancing his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. Superman represents truth, justice, and the American way. He's kindness in a world that thinks kindness as old-fashioned. Now, when you listen to that, there's a lot of good things to hear there. Truth, justice, and the American way, something that DC hasn't been comfortable with the past few years. That's certainly true. So when you hear that, that's a good thing. But still, the idea for a lot of people that James Gunn is going to be controlling this turns a lot of people off. Because when you look at the strengths for James Gunn, uh, so far in the comic book universe, it's been taking these characters that are kind of ancillary characters, these side characters, these background characters, or characters that maybe just didn't have the such famous runs that most people would recognize and change them, inherently change them and make something goofy and quirky and fun that the masses like. You can't fucking do that with Superman, but it looks like that's the man they want to do it. With our stories, we want to take away from good guy versus bad guy. There are really good, almost saintly people, and Superman is among them. There are terrible villains like Gorilla Grodd or the Joker, and then there's everybody in between. So there's all these shades of gray, which allow us to tell really complex stories. And like we said, those those DC logos did leak online. I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much stock in the leaks themselves or in the logos themselves. I don't know how much thought and how much, you know, oh, let's really make sure this logo, we get this logo all done up for this presentation. I think it's just a placeholder. That's really all I think it is. I think more so the idea that it just it, it looks like they're just shoved into a corner here is more the funny thing to take away from it. And personally, when I look at the reaction, you know, the fact that this video on DC with, with 4 million subs, you know, in four days, they're announcing everything, the future of everything, what they're going to be doing. And it just, do, there doesn't seem to be a lot of hype. 1 million, 1 million views on a channel with 4 million subscribers in four days, a channel that's dedicated to DC. I, I just, it's, it doesn't seem like the hype is really there for these projects. A lot of things like The Authority, like Waller, like Paradise Lost, like Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, like even like Swamp Thing. It's like, is this really what you wanted this announcement to focus on? At the end of the day, I've said it multiple times, I think if they land the Superman movie and if they land the Brave and the Bold, the Batman and Damian Wayne Robin story, that's probably all that's going to matter to most people. But at the same time, this announcement was very underwhelming and the idea that James Gunn, a guy who doesn't seem the type to do a Superman movie, it looks like he's going to be writing, producing, and directing the entire thing. 
Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.